Why did you even come here? To see you. See if there's anything left of us. Do we try to find our way back? What's the sin? Too much has happened, we can't get past it. Is it over for us? You tell me. I'm not perfect. No surprise there, I knew that. And there's something that you need to know. I still love you like crazy, and I want to spend the rest of my life with you and Spike. But if you're capable of killing Tad Dad Diane, didn't see Dixie and me with Madden's body. He's making it up. Just because Tad lied doesn't mean that you're innocent. You could still be a murderer. This whole silent, stoic thing, I am so sick of it. I am so over it. No more piercing stares or raised eyebrows. I want you to open your mouth and talk. I offered you that information. You didn't want it. Yeah, well, I changed my mind. I'm, I'm ready now, okay? So, talk. Why can't you just believe that I didn't kill the guy and let it go? Because I am your wife and I deserve an answer, a real answer. None of this... Trust me, Kendall. What if I tell you everything? And you're sorry that I did. I can't do this. I can't. I cannot live in riddles and secrets, Zach. If you do not love me enough to give me a straight answer, then let's just forget the whole thing, okay? We have nothing. can't get past it. Dixie flails her arms and you run off, scoop her up and save the day for her. Do you have any idea how crazy that makes me, how much I hate it? She is not your responsibility, Zach. I am. Spike is not Dixie. Not unless you're in love with her. I'm not. You abandoned me. When I was on the verge of death to help her. Now I'm just supposed to get past that? I, don't I can't. I expect you to get past it. How could you? I would give everything to be back there, go back in time, be there for the time when you open your eyes. You know that. Yes. See, on that, I do know. I know that. That's why this is so hard to take in. I know how hard you fought to save Spike's life because it was what I wanted. I know that you were willing to die in that hospital room to protect us. But it's like there's two Zacks. There's the one who loves me, who would die for me. And then there's the one who is so devoted to Dixie that he would risk losing me to save her. And I... I can't reconcile the two. It scares the hell out of me to think about what you might have done to help her. I love you. Not Dixie, you. There was a time where I believed that completely. No questions. But the disc, Zach. How did you get the disc? I want an answer and I need to know it now. Why are you fighting me so hard on this? Why do you refuse to tell me the truth? Because I don't want you to know who I really am. How can we have a marriage if you don't want me to see the real you? I told you the day that I suggested the alibi that things would get difficult. Okay, so I'm not allowed to ask questions? 
You told me that it would get ugly, so I'm not allowed to demand the truth. Why wouldn't you just take my word? Why not? Zach, look at me. This is me we're talking about here. Me. You know me. You know I have a hard time with trust, and now I have lost my trust in you. You didn't lose it. You threw it away, Kendall. Very different. That is because of all of the lies and the secrets, Zach. The trial is over. Okay, it's over. I did my job. I played the part as the cheated on wife. Now I want answers. How much of this is you? And how much of it is your savior, Ryan Lavery? <laughs> I have given you the God's honest truth about how I feel and what's going on in my head. And right now, I need the same from you or we are through. Do you think I want to keep secrets from you? You think this is how I want to let... The truth, Zach. Why can't you just accept that there are some things about me that are better left unknown? I want everything now. <sighs> Listen to me. I don't have any happy explanations. I'm not your white knight. I can go to places so dark you can't even begin to imagine. You're not gonna like what I have to say. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. But if it's as bad as you're making it sound, it could damn well be the last. Madden was gone. Dixie and I searched for him all night, but no luck. I had a feeling he was still in Pine Valley. So I sent my men after him to listen for him. They had scanning devices. Maybe they could find a cell phone, then I would know when he's ready to leave. All night, couldn't find anything. Then one of my men struck gold. Found a frequency. It wasn't a cell phone, it was something else. I listened in, and it turned out Madden had been kidnapped by somebody who needed information about Kate. So now I had a pipeline to everything, and I recorded it. Did you know that Greg was buried alive? Yeah, yeah I figured it out. And you didn't do anything about it? We needed to find information about Kate. Unfortunately, the good doctor died before he could give it up. Anyway, you asked me how I made a recording. That's it. That's how. You knew that he was being tortured, and you didn't try to, 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 to help him or find him, and dig him up, save him? No. Why? Because I didn't care. Madden stole children from their mothers. He denied fathers the right to raise their son or their daughter, and no one has the right to do that. No one. Including your father. Huh. This is about Ethan. Yeah, you're damn right it is. My father was no better than that lunatic. My father robbed my son from me. I didn't know Ethan existed until it was too late. He took my son from me the same way that Madden took hundreds and hundreds of children from their parents. So you just sat back and did nothing while he died? Yeah. And I'm sorry. Sorry, it wasn't me that buried him. I'm sorry, it wasn't me that tortured him until he squealed for mercy. Begging to tell me where Kate is. And I'm so sorry that it wasn't me that put him in that box and left him there to die.
don't touch me. You knew that Greg was alive. Trapped in that box. Buried. Tortured. And you did nothing. No, actually, you did do something. You recorded everything he said until it was too late and the man was dead. It's all true. Oh, my God. There's more. I don't want to hear it. It's too late. You're going to hear everything. No. Yes. I didn't want you to be guilty of murder. I hoped. I prayed. I told myself that there was no way that you, my loving husband, could be capable of taking someone's life. Whoever buried Greg was a monster. And a monster let him die. You were just as guilty as whoever dug that grave. Yes, I am. Why didn't you save him? Because some men don't deserve to be saved. This is your father, your father. It's his fault, he did this to you. He, he kept you in the dark about Ethan and he, he never let you know your own son. So, Alexander so, and Madden are both scum, you're right. Let's keep my dad out of this. You wanted payback. You wanted revenge. It makes complete and perfect sense. You, you wanted to, to get back at them Stop. for the years that you lost with Ethan. Don't analyze me. Don't make excuses for me. I did what I did because I'm cold, I'm calculated, and I wanted Madden dead. Mess with me or the people I care about and I'll make you pay. No exceptions. Not even my father. I could have very easily walked away from him, but I didn't. I staged my own fiery demise, and you know why? Because I wanted him to suffer. I wanted him to suffer very deeply. I wanted that image to be burnt in his mind for the rest of his days. Well, your father was a terrible man. Yeah. What about Maria? Hmm? She wasn't so terrible. She's a good woman. But she had no faith in me. So I let her think the worst of me. I let her think I killed her husband. But you didn't. No, I didn't. Just a lie. Not a collateral damage on that one. Maria. Ethan. Ethan lied about you, but you still loved him. I made my son hate me. I did that. I took away the one thing that he loved more than anything in the world. I took you. I married you. Man, talk about payback. Now I have the beautiful wife. It doesn't get better than that. You weren't in that alone. Madden tried to take Spike away from you. He took Kate away from Dixie. Yeah. I just sat there. And I listened to him gasp for breath. Scream for mercy, beg for his life. Stop and it. I did Stop. nothing. It's the cambious way. No, you are not like your father or your brother. Oh, honey. I'm so much more ruthless than the old man or the boy could have ever been. My rules, no one else's. So I'll make it through life. It's who I am. And you knew that. I told you that in the very beginning. I always hurt the people that I care about the most. And now I've done it. I've hurt you again. And you look surprised. Why is that? Why is that? Just don't want to face it. You helped Maria. You helped Dixie. You tried to help Ethan. You fought for me and for Spike. You're a good man. You, you do the right thing. Keep telling yourself that. Scream it out if you like, but in the end, you still know who I am. You know what I'm capable of. Why are you ignoring it? I don't know. Maybe I'm just an idiot who's been living in denial. No. I didn't tell you everything. 
You didn't know about the blackout the night that Spike was conceived. You didn't know that Madden was buried alive. So you want me to believe I love a man who doesn't exist? That we've just been living some ridiculous, crazy, whacked out fantasy? No. I love you with everything that I am. And I know you love me. So deeply, you only saw the good in me. You tried to fix me. You tried to save me. Some men don't want to be saved, Kendall. I am what I am. I'm okay with it. How about you? Do you have to have your hero? Because you both know he's waiting for you. If you want Ryan, you should go get him. You made love to me night after night. And you promised that nothing would come between us and our future. You held my son. You tickled him. You told him bedtime stories with happy endings. And the whole time, <laughs> the whole time you knew a man was buried alive. You, you listened to Greg. You sat and listened to Greg beg for mercy for his life. And no regret, no remorse. None. I'm in love with a man who lets people be tortured, who laughs and smiles eats and makes love as if he had no clue that a man could die at any minute. Now, I'm just supposed to accept that? I'm just supposed to live with that? You're not supposed to do anything. You're free to make your own decision. Go. Will you tell me? No. Ryan! I can't do this. I think I know what I want and what I can take, and then Zach opens his mouth and I'm a total mush. What did he say? What didn't he say? For once, the man would not shut up. I now know more about my husband than I have ever wanted to know. I and mean, for better or worse, doesn't even begin to cover it. Maybe once you give yourself a chance uh, what? to calm down. What, and... what, I'll, I'll forget about what Zach said or, or, or what he's done? Ryan, if Zach and I stay together, and that's a really huge if right now, I don't know if I can deal with it. I mean, I should have just trusted him. I should have just stayed in denial. That's the happiest place on earth. But no, I had to question him. I had to demand answers that he didn't want to give. And now I know. My husband is a ruthless, merciless man who will horrify me on a regular basis. Not that I 
want the details because honestly I don't, but did he explain what happened the night that Madden was buried and how he got the disc? Oh yeah, he explained all right. On the upside, he didn't bury Greg alive. On the downside, he may as well have. My baby boy will be raised with a man who doesn't do regret or remorse. What kind of an example is that? I don't know. I think Spice already got some serious character in there, right, my little man? <laughs> I don't know if I can live with a man who's capable of anything. I mean, it's not like he kicks puppies, but... Oh, my God, listen to me. Why am I even surprised? I, I know Zach. I know what, what he's capable of. I know what he can do. You, you showed me that. His whole brilliant lights-out maneuver. He, he caused that blackout, and it put my life and yours and Greenlee's in a total spin-out. Well, I managed to spin out all by myself. Yeah, well, you thought you had a good reason for doing that. But I made a mistake, Kendall. I did. Zach's not the only person that can hurt people. That's all I'm saying. Don't tell me you're defending him. No. No, 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 no. I'm not defending him. That's okay. I'm not. I'm just saying, if he hadn't have pulled the plug, on the fertility clinic, then you wouldn't be the mother of my son. And I can honestly say, that's working for me. I don't know if things are gonna work out with Zach and I, but the one thing that I am 100% sure of is that Spike is the love of my life. And mine. Here. Okay, I'm not gonna do this with you, no? No, there's no way I'm going to drag you into my mess of a marriage. I'm not going to do it. So you got enough going on without having to hold my hand or, or duck or whatever. So I promise you will be in a drama-free zone. Good. Because honestly, I don't really want to be involved in your marriage. Not even if you send me an engraved invitation. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you see that? Yeah. You see that? Oh, you see how your mommy and daddy agree on the important things. I'll even go this far if you and Zach don't work out. I'm not going to lose any sleep. And believe me, I understand that if, you know, you guys are dumb, it doesn't necessarily mean anything for us. I'm nowhere near done with Zach. The problem that I can't get around, I can't hide from, and I can't make it disappear is that I still love Zach. I knew, I mean, I knew how horrible he could be. I knew that the terrible things that he could have done and that he only plays by his own rules. And before tonight, I believe that no matter how bad Zach got, he always had good reasons for doing what he did. The heart behind the darkness. Exactly. But now, it made me sick, Ryan. What he told me, what he's really, truly capable of. There was no heart in that, no love. Just pure hate. It scares me. I don't know if I can handle it, Ryan. I don't even know if I should try. And then Zach looks at me. He just looks at me the way that he does. And I realize that's what I want to hold on to, the man I love. It's like I want to take that, that dark part of his soul, I want to put it in a little box, put a nice little bow on it, and tell myself everything will be OK. And then. The other part of me wants to just keep running and never look back. So, we got comments, observations, questions, advice, something? You know what? I think Spike is going to roll over any day now. I do. Yeah. Okay, I get it. I, 
I get it. Whatever I decide to do, stay or go, it's my decision. Yes, it is. It is all yours. I love him. I hate what he's done, but I love him. I mean, he could do it again. I, I, I mean, it's, it's not like this is a one-time deal here. Someone else could tick him off and God knows what he would do. And I don't know if I could live with that, Ryan. But I don't know if I can live without him. I don't know what to do. How, how do I know? How am I gonna figure out what, what is best for me? You will. One time. Where, where are you going? What are you doing? I gotta go. Do you want to just come in for a drink? It's been a long day. Long night. Look, you figured it out, right? You know who buried Greg Madden. I do. Leave it alone. Look, there's a lot to talk about. You want to, I, I won't, it just, it'll take a minute. I won't hold you to the drink. Um, that disc that, um, was of Madden talking when he was buried. Did you make that? I did. But you didn't put it in JR's drawer, did you? Nope. Didn't know you had it until they played a confusion. Good. <laughs> Thank you for not using it to hurt my son. Get some sleep. Um, there's some other stuff. Um, Tad and I are going to work together to try to find Kate, but I've been your guest for too long. I can't stay here, okay? I'm going to get out of here and get a job and get my own place. There's no reason for you to leave. Oh, come on. You know, I've upset Kendall enough. I've done enough damage to your life, to your marriage. There's no reason for you to leave. 